Hey everyone, so recently I did a 24 hour charity stream for the Alzheimer's Society on which I did some streaming on the Oculus Quest. Now since then I've had some people reaching out to me and asking me how I got the Oculus Quest or Quest 2 with Twitch chat in the headset while I was streaming and in this video I will show you exactly how I did that and I will put timestamps down below as well so you can skip to the more relevant parts to you. Now a quick disclaimer as well, I've only done this on Twitch so if you're thinking of doing it for Facebook or YouTube streaming, I'm not sure if it will work. If you want you can try it out and if it does work, let me know in the comments how you find it and whether it worked or not. Next is very important, I've only been able to do it through Steam on Steam games so if you're thinking of streaming Oculus Store games, you can still stream it, but I'm not sure you'll be able to do it with the Twitch chat overlay like mine. Now let's talk about what you'll need. So obviously you'll need the Oculus Quest or Quest 2 and also a VR ready PC, which means a PC ready to run VR games. Steam, Steam VR and some Steam VR titles that you want to stream. On Steam you will also want to download the Live app and last but not least the Oculus Link desktop app from the Oculus website. If you're already a streamer you'll also know that you'll probably need Streamlabs OBS or OBS all that good stuff. Now let's talk about your setup. Firstly make sure all the things mentioned above are already installed and downloaded. Make sure your Quest and your Oculus desktop app is all synced up and linked together by signing into your account and linking your device. Next, head over to settings, beta, and at the end, turn air link at the bottom on. Keep in mind, you will have to do this every single time you turn PC on. Next, head into Steam and start the Live app. Then you wanna launch the Live Streamer kit. Here, you wanna link your Twitch, Streamlabs, or Stream Elements, and head over to the chat tab. This will show you a ton of settings that you can play around with. You can have the chat on your left or right hand or head follower mode where it's above your head. Things like opacity that makes it more see through and dead space is how fast the chat window follows your head around. You can also play around with your alerts so you don't miss anything like follows, subs or raids etc. Honestly, these settings are all down to personal preference so play around with them and see in your headset later and what you prefer. With Live set up and ready to go, you want to put your headset on and head over to Quick Settings, Settings, Experimental Features and turn on Airlink. And don't worry, this time you'll only have to do it once. Now you can link your Quest with your desktop, head over to Quick Settings and you'll see an option to Airlink below the Wi-Fi section. Click this to connect to your PC. Now you will be in the new menu, the panel on the front there will be a virtual desktop button on the right. Press this to connect to your desktop and you should have your desktop and live app up. You can play around with your settings for the chat overlay here and see what you prefer. Launch a game and see if it works when you're ready. You can even head over to your Twitch channel and type something in your chat and see if it comes up in the headset. To return to the Oculus dashboard at any time, click the air link button on the left. Now we're almost there. The last thing to do is to get everything into your broadcast software on your desktop so you can stream your gameplay. Head over to oculus.com forward slash casting. Make sure you signed in. Put your headset on and the main Oculus dashboard. Head to share, cast. Mine is already casting so it won't have the option but you want to select computer and pick your PC. This should cast your headset onto this tab. Finally you want to turn the volume and widescreen and full screen it. Head over to OBS or Streamlabs, add source, window capture and select this tab and adjust the size to your preference. So the best order I found to do this is obviously set your PC up and get everything ready, so live app and all that stuff, then put your headset on, head over and cast your headset to your screen first and then Airlink. That way you don't have to come in and out of Airlink mode and onto the virtual desktop. So there you go, stream your Quest gameplay with chat so you don't have to keep taking your headset off to read and keep that communication going with your community. So I hope this video was helpful to you. If it did, consider hitting that like button and subscribing. All the links for stuff are down below. Have a smashing day and I'll see you next time.